Today we're going to talk about OnCue and the difference between presentations versus notebooks. Now, both presentations and notebooks are very similar to what you've seen in other trial presentation apps like Workbooks in Trial Director or KeyDocs in TrialPad. But presentations and notebooks have some slightly different functions that will help you decide which one you should use where. So if we're looking at this uh, dummy case file. I have a couple of DTXs, PTX, and JTXs in this case file here. And I've also made one presentation and one notebook, both with the same number uh, and same pages of exhibits, just so that we can see kind of the same thing. If we go first to the presentation and I hit F5 to run it uh, in OnCue, I get the first item in that presentation list. If I go and hit the right arrow key, I get the second item in the list. And then if I hit the right arrow key one more time, I get the last item in the list. Uh, which is JTX4 page eight. If I go and hit back, I go back up one in the list uh, and I can go back to the beginning or I can cycle through and I go up and down the list with my left and right arrow keys. Now, if I escape and get out of that and then go to the notebook, you can see the difference that we're gonna have here. Let's just fast forward to the end and I'll hit F5 to pull up JTX4 page eight. If I hit the right arrow key here or the left arrow key here, it's not going to take me to the DTX or the PTX that's in this list. Instead, it's going to take me to JTX4, and if I hit the right arrow key, I get subsequent pages in JTX4, or I get previous pages in JTX4 if I hit the left arrow key. The way I like to think of it is that presentations are like PowerPoint slideshows, so you hit the arrow key, it advances a slide, or you hit the back key and it goes to the previous slide. If you're in a notebook, as you hit the right and left arrow key, it takes you to different pages within the exhibit. Now, why would you want to do that? And let me get out of here and show you what it looks like and how I tend to work with notebooks because I prefer to work with notebooks. And so I'm going to hit this little button out here that kicks the notebook out to the side and I'll click the notebook example so I can have it there. There we go. Now I've got my notebook and I can adjust the size of these. So now I can see all my exhibits in the document section, or at least a large number of them. And I can also see everything that's in the notebook. And so the way that I typically use this is, if there's an outline that I've been given from the attorney, I'll go ahead and put all the pages that they've referenced in their outline into the notebook. But then I'll also at the same time have a couple of key exhibits that I know that we tend to refer to no matter almost which exhibit or witness we're working with. And I might have those twirled open. So that way, if I know we go to DTX one frequently, I can always pull that up. And so the way it'll work is maybe we'll go through the exam. Maybe we don't talk about DTX one right away. And then we, we do talk about PTX one. Then I could click on PTX one, send it into Anki by hitting F5. And then we're there seeing it. If I need to go to a specific page, let's say if you go to page five, I type five enter, and then we go to page five. Uh, but then if we go to need to go to the next carryover page, I can hit the arrow key and get there or go, or go backwards. And so that way, it's a very quick way of me getting to different exhibits. So it's kind of a portal when I make notebooks. Uh, and then if I do need to go to JTX4, then I could click on JTX4 and then that will be the exhibit that gets sent over. And if I need to go before or back on that, then I just use the arrow keys there. So that's the way that I like to use notebooks because it gives you a way of jumping from exhibit to exhibit while still leaving you a lot of flexibility to go to the next page if let's say there's a carryover paragraph or if there's a figure or a point that the attorney wants to make on the following page. It makes it a lot easier, at least for me and the way that my mind works uh, when I'm hot seating a trial. It just makes a lot of intuitive sense to me to work that way. So I really prefer notebooks. I know that there's a lot of hot seaters out there that don't use workbooks, notebooks, or presentation at all. And I'm amazed that they can do that. Uh, me, I need to make my universe a little bit smaller uh, so that I could be a little bit faster that way. That's just the way that I need to work. And that's what I think software like this needs to kind of keep in mind is that different people work in different ways. And I think OnQ is doing a pretty good job of that here with the presentations versus notebooks distinction. If you have any other questions about OnQ, presentations, notebooks, or anything else, feel free to leave them in the comments. I would love to talk to you guys down there.